Today, we have an HP Gateway laptop that came in for an upgrade. As you can see from the manufacturing date, this is a 12 to 13 year old machine from around 2012, and it's running on an Intel processor. Let me power it on for you. You can see it's a gateway model, and to get into the BIOS, we need to press the F2 key. Here in the BIOS, you can see it has an Intel Pentium CPU at 2.2 GHz, and originally came with just 2 GB of RAM. The main reason I'm making this video is to show you what's required if you have a similar, older laptop and want to run Windows 10. While Windows 11 is out of the question for this hardware, if you want to install Windows 10, a hardware upgrade is absolutely essential. Trying to run Windows 10 on just 2 gigabytes of RAM and this older processor might work, but it would be incredibly slow. It's much better to upgrade the hardware first. So what we've done is install an additional 4 gigabyte RAM module, bringing the total memory up to 6 gigabytes. Along with the RAM, we've also installed an SSD. We then did a fresh installation of Windows 10 directly onto that new SSD. An interesting thing to note in this older BIOS is that in the boot sequence, it only shows a single hard drive option without letting you choose between the two. The original drive had Windows 8 installed and we've put the new Windows 10 on the SSD. Let me show you how it works now. On startup, the system automatically created a boot menu, asking whether we want to load into the old Windows 8 or the new Windows 10. When I installed Windows 10 on the second drive, this menu was generated automatically. Now, just watch the boot speed and performance. As you can see, it booted up incredibly quickly. The startup time is excellent. The performance, even after installation, feels great. I've checked it and this machine is now perfectly usable for work with Windows 10. The customer wanted to move away from the outdated Windows 8, so this was the perfect solution. I've also installed Microsoft Office on it. You can see all the icons in the system tray have loaded quickly. Now let's check the system properties. I'll right click the start menu and go to system. Here it is. Intel Pentium CPU at 2.2 gigahertz, six gigabytes of installed RAM, and a total storage capacity of about 704 gigabytes. Now let me show you the hard drive configuration. We'll right click the start menu again and go into Disk Management. Here you can see the two drives. The first is the original 500 gigabyte hard drive, which still has Windows 8 and its three partitions. The second is the new 250 gigabyte SSD, which we've set up as a single partition for Windows 10. Now for some real world testing. Let's open a few applications. First, Microsoft Word. As you can see, the performance is excellent. Now let's launch Excel and PowerPoint at the same time. The responsiveness is great. This video is really to show that if you have an old laptop like this, you can definitely install and run Windows 10 effectively. The key requirements are having sufficient RAM, at least four gigabytes, though we went with six, and installing an SSD, which makes a massive difference in performance. To ensure stability, I've also fully updated Windows to today's date. Let's go into Update and Security. As you can see, it's all up to date. The great thing about this is that after running Windows Update, most of the essential drivers were installed automatically. If I open Device Manager, you can see that the important drivers for the display adapter, sound controllers, and both the LAN and Wi-Fi network adapters have all been installed and are working correctly. The sound is working perfectly. There are just a couple of minor drivers missing, one for Bluetooth and another for the card reader, which I will install later. But all the core components are running perfectly. I hope you found this video helpful and it shows what's possible with a simple upgrade. Thanks for watching.